What are we going to be doing next? I'll be instilling eardrops in a patient who has an ear infection. Okay. Why else might eardrops be prescribed for a patient? Drugs are administered into the auditory canal for their local effect. They're used to soften wax, relieve pain, um, apply local anesthesia, and in this case, treat infections. Right. Both ears? No, just the left. Oh, okay. If you were treating both ears, you would wait five minutes before instilling drops into the second ear to avoid causing the medication to run out immediately after administration. Right. And you know the actions, special nursing considerations, and safe dose ranges of the medication to be administered? I do, and why I'm administering the drug and any adverse effects. And of course, you always make use of the three checks and the rights of medication administration. Sure do. And I have to consider the appropriateness of the medication for the individual patient each time. Good. So, what's next? Next, we'll get the medication ready and go see the patient. Great. Good morning, Mrs. Park. My name is Deborah. I'm a nursing student assigned to care for you today. And this is my instructor, Ms. Warren. How are you feeling today? Fine, I guess, considering I'm in the hospital. Oh, anything in particular you want to talk about today? No, I just miss my family. Oh, I understand. Well, we're here to give you your eardrops. Oh, good. It makes it feel a lot better. You know how to do it, right? Absolutely. First, I'll need to see your ID band on your wrist. Thank you. And what's your name? Rose Park. And your birth date? October the 29th, 1948. Thank you, Mrs. Park. I'll scan the barcode on your ID band. Good. Now, your chart says you don't have any allergies. Not that I know of, but you never know. No, you never know until you actually use a medication. But you've been receiving these eardrops for a few days without a problem, right? Yes, no problems. OK, last thing before we give you the drops. Check the medication label for the third time with the MAR. I already checked it twice when I was preparing the drops. Ofloxacin, otic solution, 0.3%, 10 drops at 9 o'clock. Got it. And then scan the label. So now we're ready. These drops will help treat your ear infection. Will it burn? No, it should just feel a little cool. I was just afraid it might burn. I understand. Well, these haven't bothered you before, you're right, they haven't. Ready to get started? Here we go. OK, since it's your left ear, I want you to lie on your right side. Like this? That's great. I'm going to put your bed up. Good. Now tilt your head so that your left ear is at the highest point. Good. Let me look at your ear first. Doesn't look too bad, just a little red. Oh, it's improved the last few days then. My husband said it looked like I'd been in a boxing match. Oh my, it must have been really swollen. So tell me what you're doing, Deborah. Well, first I straighten the auditory canal by pulling the pinna up and back. Should you numb this first? No, Mrs. Park, it won't hurt. As a matter of fact, I'm doing it right now. One can't be too careful, you know. I hold the bottle with the tip above the auditory canal and I don't touch the ear with it. I'm OK, right? You're doing just fine, Mrs. Park. Now I'm going to allow the drops to fall on the side of the ear canal. That's good. It's uncomfortable for the patient if the drops fall directly onto the tympanic membrane. You won't do that, will you? No, the drops are already in. Now I'm going to press on the outside of your ear. Pressing on the tragus, a part of the ear, causes the medication to go down the ear canal, which is where it needs to be. Now I need you to stay in this position for just a little bit, about five minutes, to make sure the medication stays put, OK? If you say so. OK. Put your bed back down. I document the medication in the MAR. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Now, of course, the follow-up assessment related to this medication is to continue to monitor the condition of the patient's ear. Got it. And that's it, Mrs. Park. Thank you. 
Anything else we can get for you before we leave? My stomach's been gurgling. Well, have you eaten lately? No. Would you like to try some yogurt? Strawberry would be good. I'll be right back with that. Anything else, you know where the call bell is. Oh, I sure do. Great.